Welcome back, family. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Sir Loco, and today I'm in a special location. I'm in the great city of GI. That's Gary, Indiana. And the biggest thing to come out of Gary, Indiana is the Jackson 5. And yes, sir, what you see behind me is their childhood home. And, uh, you know, there's some other good, uh, what do you call it, like... Uh, acts or or, or or names if you will that come out of Gary Indiana uh, uh, East Chicago Indiana uh, just to name a couple uh, Kawan Short he went to my high school he ended up playing uh, football for uh, the Carolina Panthers I'm not sure where he's playing at now but he come out of East Chicago where I'm from also Etwan Moore uh, he graduated like maybe six years after I did and he played in the NBA he played for the Boston Celtics and I believe he even went to the Chicago Bulls and did a little stint there, you know, but but the biggest biggest one of them all is uh, here, you know, where I'm at, uh, the Jackson 5 in their humble beginnings, you know, right here in Gary, Indiana, and this is their childhood home. Obviously, they renovated it, and for those of y'all that don't know, uh, Gary uh, is, a, is a steel mill city, just like where I'm from. Uh, for those of y'all that watched uh, my... my uh, my last vlog, I guess I showed a little bit of, of the beach and then the steel mill. That's one steel mill that's in East Chicago. And the other big steel mill is in the great city of Gary, uh, which is U.S. Steel. And I worked at both steel mills. But anyway, yeah, it's here. You know, the Jackson 5. Gary, Indiana, baby. Put Gary, Indiana on the map. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of times when people visit the chicago land area you know they'll they'll stop by uh and see uh you know michael jackson's uh childhood home you know what i mean and so you had janet jackson tito jermaine latoya you had all of them and it's well kept you know and it's like a, like i said it's a tourist tourist spot and uh it's a beautiful thing beautiful thing morning how you doing my friend all right do they still uh <clears throat> do they still give like tours and stuff here or no nah? they don't do none of that stuff in it okay now is there, is there another spot or there's, there's not this this is just it right okay yeah i uh I live in East Chicago. I never come here my you know my whole life, and then I moved to Texas, come back. I said, "Well, shit, let me go visit Michael Jackson's home real quick," you know. So I'm just you know vlogging on my YouTube. Okay. Yeah, so this is it. You know, like I said, uh, middle class. I, I believe his dad worked in the steel mill, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, you know that was, that's a good paying job. You know, blue collar job. And uh, city. Gary uh, one time was booming back in the 60s and 70s and uh, unfortunately like I said it, it had the <clears throat> it had the the title of, of being the myrtle capital of the world at one time it's still crazy out here but uh, you know it is what it is you know what I'm saying it's, it's home to a lot of good people and uh, you know they worked no matter uh, don't let the your situation or whatever the case may be you know stop you or hold you back you know you can make it you know what i'm saying he's he's the king of pop everybody in the world knows who he is and he came out of here gary indiana baby so i just thought i'd just come by just show y'all you know what i'm saying like uh a, a gem a beautiful gem uh superstar iconic that came out of uh Northwest Indiana and like I mentioned don't don't let anything hold you back believe in yourself and uh, you know hey sky's the limit you know and and like I mentioned um, you know hey I didn't let my circumstances you know hold me back and 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 trust me when I when I tell you that it wasn't all bad here you know I, I just showing where I come from 
you know what I'm saying, showing where I come from, that there, there's a better way. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is that there's a better way. And I had many great memories, many great memories. But 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 Gary is, is, is uh, totally different from what it was back in the 60s and 70s and even 80s. And what happens a lot is in a lot of these areas, a lot of these cities, you know what I'm saying, when you start having minorities move in, well, you know, all the, all the, the white people start moving, moving away. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just have to be blunt and honest about it. So, but anyway, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Jackson Five Home, 2300 Jackson Street. In case y'all wondering, y'all can look it up, Google it. I don't know if they'll talk about it. I know they did a like a ceremony, like when they re renovated the house and whatnot. You know, as you can see the address there, 2300. And that's awesome, you know, I'm trying to soak it in. You know, somebody as big as Michael Jackson, you know, lived here. You know, near me, should I say. So, anyway, I'll catch y'all here in a little bit. Now, the street that I'm on now, y'all, is, is Broadway Street. Now, this back in the 60s and 70s was, uh, was real busy, full of... Uh, merchants and 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 everything you know what i'm saying businesses i mean this was booming all broadway and this stretches all the way to uh Merrillville, which is a city south of here which is where i had bought my home but broadway here was a booming booming uh strip gary was a booming strip like i said back in the 60s 70s and even 80s and uh as you can see a lot of it's uh gone and uh she's not you know lost her glory if you will a lot of abandoned uh buildings you know i'm not gonna go through the hoods because i'm definitely not familiar with the hoods or know anybody in the hoods for me to be going into them but uh yeah it's uh it's it's changed and it, the further south all the way where it kind of dead ends is where the entrance to the steel mill is uh u.s steel and like I said, this is a blue collar uh, city. What I do miss, which I wish they had in Texas, was that White Castle. Drop a comment, let me know if y'all know all about White Castles or whatever the case may be. But but anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd just uh, take you along for the ride with me. And uh, man, like I said, it's, you know, there's a lot of good people in these cities. And uh, unfortunately, you know, it seems like the youth or whatever, you know, just, it's 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 lost you know what i mean like every generation there, there's a crazy generation if you will and uh i just thank god that uh you know your boy sir local came out unscathed uh never been shot i've been shot at maybe mistaken identity or whatever the case may be but uh thank god i've never been shot or whatever the case may be but uh yeah i just wanted you, you know like i said take you out for a ride with me now they did have a, a nice mural of uh, the Jackson 5. I didn't know if it was on this strip or not. So, <clears throat> and like I said, there's a lot of abandoned buildings, abandoned schools back there, as you can see. And like I said, uh, there's a lot of abandoned houses, man. And unfortunately, Gary, is notorious if you got your car stolen and this isn't saying that people from gary are stealing it and doing it but <clears throat> if your car is stolen in this area nine times out of ten they would find it uh abandoned here in um in gary indiana it was like the dump off point if you will and uh that's the genesis convention center over there and also too man unfortunately and i you know i hate to talk about like 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 bad news and this happens everywhere y'all you know what i'm saying I, you know it's not just exclusive to here where i'm at it happens everywhere but it seems like in some places it's just more than others and unfortunately you hear a lot in the paper uh of bodies being found in in uh these abandoned houses out here i mean i mean on every block there's guaranteed to be like seven eight abandoned homes unfortunately so the, the the city has uh deteriorated over the years but like i said there are good people there are good people out here and uh 
just above that overpass there is uh, the entrance to the steel mill where, you, where your boy worked at. So, you know, that's like a, that's like a mill ticket. <clears throat> you know, for those of us like uh, who don't have college education or whatever the case may be, you know, that's a mill ticket there. I mean, you, you could make a good living and everybody tries to get in there <clears throat> excuse me try, tries to get in there you know what i'm saying to to support their family and it's kind of like hitting the lottery and and your boy uh sir local has been blessed you know what i mean i worked at both steel mills and then at the job where i'm at now down in texas that's also like hitting the lottery and make good money so so uh the lord's definitely been um you know he's definitely blessed me and definitely looked out for me you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like the message of me showing, you know, just telling some of my personal stories uh, is just just to motivate some of y'all who might feel like, uh, you know, there's no way out or there's no hope or whatever, to, you know, whatever condition or situation you might be in. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be uh, a living testament of that. If, if your boy Sir Local can do it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can do it. You know what I'm saying? So I always want to spread that message of. Uh, don't don't give up you know what I'm saying you know and sneakers is my passion and uh, man uh, you know basketball in a sense you know besides uh, you know good upbringing and whatnot and and even in the midst of the chaos putting some good good people some good friends um, in my path uh, but basketball you know um, you know it kept me out of trouble you know I, I was able to go to other hoods because I was never, I may have hung around with some different gangbangers, but you know, that's because they live where you live, they go to the school where you go to school at. So, like, it's, ine it's inevitable that you're gonna be hanging around with some of these people, you know? But that doesn't mean that you have to do what they do. And thank God I never got caught up in all that. So, I was able to go to different hoods and play basketball. You know, I was able to go to the Latin King hood, to the uh, IG hood, uh, SGD hoods, uh, you know, even to like the projects here and there, you know, as long as I knew some of them, you know, uh, where they had like vice lords and whatnot and GDs, uh, and, and play basketball, you know, and then keep it moving, you know, so anyway, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch up with y'all in a bit. So I'll bring you up to another spot. This is a park uh, uh, not too far from my home and where I was from. For, I'm like, I live five blocks out that way, you know, uh, or I grew up at five blocks out that way. Everything was close. My elementary school was back there. They tore it down. But anyway, they changed the name to Nunes Park. Back in the day, growing up, it was the Roberto Clemente Center. And that's like a, it's a church now, but back then it was like a recreational center. Where like after school, whatever, you know, they had like a half court gym and like games and, and stuff to do, to do, uh, you know what I'm saying, after school or whatever. And I believe that, you know, a lot of communities need that, you know, um, you know, that, the, the, you know what I'm saying, uh, gosh darn it, I just, just lost track of mine. Um, you know, like a, they call it a community center. That's what they call it. Like I said, where kids could go and and whatever, you know, keep kids out of trouble. You know, so that was the Roberto Clemente Center. And like I said, that half half court basketball. They used to have like even dances and DJs. <laughs> you believe that? Like DJs even back in the day, stuff for kids to get together and, and keep them off the streets. But this park here brings back so much memories. Like like in the Midwest, you know, we get a uh, a lot of uh, blizzards out here. So growing up, right there where you see all this open field, these, little, these, these trees weren't always here back in the day. And uh, man, there'll be blizzards. And uh, <clears throat> me and the neighborhood kids would uh, shoot, play uh, tackle football in a blizzard. All this would be foot full of snow, like about a good foot, maybe two feet, three feet, sometimes even four feet of snow, all this right here. All this area right here, and we used to play um, uh, tackle football in the blizzard. Man, those were the days. And um, man, they took the hill down. Okay, wow. Yeah, okay. Well, back then, I guess over there where that um, 
that uh, that picnic area is like all through there even this playground wasn't always there uh, <clears throat> it was an older playground it was more like over here somewhere uh, but there was a big hill right here where these about where these trees are where the playgrounds at and uh, we used to uh, uh, ride our sleds or whatever whatever we could find to slide down the hill in the winter time and a lot of times we play king of the hill you know you know just just fun games that we used to play and uh you see it the basketball court you know like i said uh, basketball you know helped save my life and uh yeah your boy was always out here always out here playing ball you know and then over here which is no longer there just on the other side of this little sidewalk over there they used to have a pool a community pool so we would go there swim you know everybody in the neighborhood would go swim but uh, the basketball court always been there and they actually knocked down my elementary school which was back there I mean you really can't tell from here but kind of kind of like where those cars are at Lincoln Lincoln Elementary Warriors was the name Lincoln Elementary Warriors they knocked it down and I'm gonna walk to the street now because uh, the projects was over here not that far from here that's a senior citizen home that's always been there that tall building way back there and uh, back there at the corner of the park there used to be a bar and across the street from there used to be a bar and uh, your boy sir loco used to be a, a frequent freaking flyer at those uh, places <laughs> But all this was different, obviously, growing up, because I remember my dad, uh, well, it's actually the next street over, Main Street. Uh, they had record stores and uh, restaurants and even a movie theater in, in East Chicago. All that stuff ain't no longer here. But uh, the parking lot, which I'm going to show you all here in a little bit, all right so okay now this is the church uh we grew up going to that's the home for the for the i guess the priest i guess whatever but here here's here's the park the elementary school is like behind the house over there by where the tree was at no longer there and this church always been here we've always gone here but if you can see over there all those brown buildings all that strip it runs kind of diagonal is the projects and uh it was named guthrie street and this were all the gds and uh black black uh black gangsters bgs uh we hardly didn't go down that strip there was always shootings as you can see the, the building way over there so it's like at a diagonal and there's projects in the back and it goes all the way about another maybe mile out that way and then it goes about another half mile the other way on the other side and um, you know like like I said uh, the school uh, the school elementary was like right back there the park is right here and like four blocks that way was uh, like two or three blocks of uh, where the Latin Kings were were at a different gang and here you got the projects. And like four blocks that way, you know, Latin Kings. And man, they'll be shooting outs all the time. And I used to have a buddy that used to stay over there in the Latin King hood. And uh, man, you took chances when you go play it out there because shoot, uh, you know, people always did drive-bys and whatnot. So it is what it is, y'all. So what's up family yeah i'm back in uh my 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 city of east chicago and uh do a drip check and uh guess what y'all i scuffed up my my jays it's no big deal hey i'll clean them when i get home if not i'm still gonna rock them but look what your boy did scuffed them up i don't know if y'all can see it got dirt marks i'll clean it y'all can see it It's mainly this shoe, the right shoe. I don't know what I was doing, but uh, but anyway, that's not important. Hey, 
there's more important things than sneakers i do love sneakers though but I, i'll get it clean so uh this one here is a is, is story time is kind of a, a tragic one and uh i actually live like three three blocks that way where, where the house ends over there going north and south there's where i grew up at there's where i rented at for so many years before uh I bought my house in, in Maryville for those of y'all that watched my other video. And um, I was, and this story, like I said, is tragic. Uh, you know the saying, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Uh, rest in peace to my uh, my friend, my brother, uh, uh, DA, what's his name? And, uh, you know, he died at 15 or 16, you know, living that lifestyle, you know gang banging you know good good kid but uh here goes the story uh that yellow house right there we were chilling one night drinking on the porch and uh my boy pulls up right on the street and like i said we're here drinking we're like hey what's up what's up chuche you know whatever the case may be and he was like hey uh you know he lowered down the window and we're chilling on the, on the porch drinking and whatnot. And he say, hey, uh, DA's been shot. We're like, what? He's like, DA been shot. And we're like, oh shit. So um, we all hopped in his, he had like a little station wagon uh, or a car or whatever. And, and we all hopped in there and we took off and we're gonna go to the spot where we saw my friend, uh, you know, deceased. It's about two blocks that way. And then two blocks going west or east because i'm facing south and then like one block coming back north which i'm gonna go which is uh which is pretty close because he actually lived i think they knocked down the building yeah because it was over here somewhere they, they knocked down a lot of stuff all these open spots that you see uh they knocked down a lot of a lot of spots but there was like a big buildings you know what i'm saying with apartments all right here where, where it's vacant so my friend DA and his family actually lived on that strip right here. And, you know, we drunk with my friend BB. That was my friend, that's my friend BB's house. And, all, you know, we're all drinking there. Like everything's so close. Like I said, the park I just showed y'all is like right there, you know, a couple blocks there. Then the projects is like back there, five blocks. And then like, you know, another hood where I used to hang around like four or five blocks that way. And I mean, it's just more hoods everywhere, you know, so anyway so so he, he like i said he yells he said hey uh da's been shot and we all hopped off the porch jumped in his ride and uh we're gonna go uh to the spot where where he took his uh last and final breaths so walk with your boy so anyway we're, we're, we're pulling up to the scene now like i said we're, just where i left my friends at house where we were drinking is like uh three three blocks out that way behind the building and uh this is the infamous liquor store where we all went to and this strip here is 139th now like so many blocks the the imperial they're uh they're called the imperial imperial gangsters uh uh rule this neighborhood all around here and uh so it was, it was very very dangerous and like I said, every four, five, six, six different blocks was a different gang. And, uh, you know, my boy, uh, the story goes, you know, DA, rest in peace. Uh, I guess he was uh, going to do a mission. And uh, and I remember like it was yesterday, you know, he had a, he, and he was 15 and 16, if I didn't, you know, forget to, if I forgot to mention that. Uh, and he had a, you know. He had a, a cast in his right hand, I believe. And so it just seems like yesterday. So anyway, story goes, he was on a mission and, and somewhere back here to the left, one of these houses, I don't know which one, uh, the Latin Kings used to uh, chill at. And, uh, you know, like I said, he was a Imperial Gangster IG. And I kid you not, when we pulled up, they already, the cops had just showed up. We parked over there on the street and we started walking and this was at nighttime too by the way and uh i kid you not you know from from a distance as we're walking to to the body you can see a body on the floor and uh you know 
our friend was face down and uh, it started drizzling. It was an eerie feeling. It started drizzling and uh, it was somewhere around here, you know, that we saw him. I can't remember, it's, it's, it's gotta be somewhere around here. But anyway, that's besides the point. We walked to it and we see our friend there, you know, face down and, and like I said, it started drizzling. And in one of those houses back there, um, I believe, uh, I believe, you know, like I said, the, the rival gang, if you will, the Latin Kings, uh, you know, all used to hang around there. So, you know, they said supposedly his, his gun jammed or whatever the case may be, but, uh, you know, just a tragic situation. You know, that's why, that's why I say, you know, life is short, you know, hey, turn, turn your life around. Because uh, if you're still living that lifestyle, you're eventually going to get caught up. You know, so rest in peace to D'Angelo and his family. And I actually talked to his uncle. And um, uh, to this day, hopefully he don't mind me sharing my personal story. But uh, yeah, just uh, kind of like, uh, just don't forget where you come from. And that's why I wanted a better life. And, change you know what I'm saying there, there is a better way and there is I must reiterate that time and time again there are good people in these neighborhoods you know so uh, once again uh, rest in peace to all those that we have lost uh, you know what I'm saying throughout the years you know people that I know and then maybe some people that y'all may know you know what I'm saying rest in peace to them you know so uh, thank y'all for walking with your boy uh, I think this is I don't know if this is going to be the last vlog while I'm out here, but, you know, it's kind of, kind of therapeutic, you know, to me to share some of my, my experiences with y'all. It's kind of therapeutic, to be honest. And just to show, like I said, just to show y'all that there is a better way, you know what I'm saying? That there is hope. So if you watched all my videos, watch it to the end. Don't forget to support your boy. By all means, drop that, hit that thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and please do consider subscribing. This is a sneaker channel, so this is uh, your first time stumbling on one of my videos. It is a sneaker channel, but uh, you know I took a little little break, came back home, and uh, I'll get back to uh, you know what I'm saying uh, reviewing my sneakers, copying sneakers and whatnot. So um, catch you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, we're going to go check out the movie Thor. We're gonna take out the top. And ride in style. Yes, sir. So anyway, we're going to check it out and uh, I'll let y'all know what I think about the movie. Catch you on a bit. What up, Frank and Say what up, doggy dog. Yeah, so we just finished uh, watching uh, Thor. For those of y'all that love Marvel movies, I would recommend watching it. Uh, my grading is, I would have to give it a C, C plus. That's just me. But anyway, if you're into uh, Marvel, Marvel movies, by all means, go check it out. So, yeah, so this probably be my last vlog, what y'all seen today. And uh, I had fun, fun out here visiting my family. And, uh, you know, the moral of the story, I guess, through it all, you know, hey, just have fun. Enjoy the small moments, the little things in life. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, um, man, it is what it is. Just, just be happy. Live one day at a time. So, until next time, peace.